This your boy AK Huh? Hey Panthers, this is your Forest Fire. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Ashley. Let's take a look at what's going on in the forest today. Reporter Tazana Ferguson is standing with some members of our ROTC program with some information about the upcoming blood drive. Thanks guys. Hi, I'm here with Emerald and David to talk a little bit about the blood drive coming up soon. So when does this take place? It's September 28th, which is a Tuesday. It's from 9 to 2 in the mini gym. Okay, and is there any requirements we need, such as age or anything? If you're 16, you need parental consent, and 17 and above, just show up and bring a picture ID. Okay, and is there anything else you need to talk to us about today? Um, just make sure that you eat beforehand, and we're actually having a competition against Conway. We're trying to do sign up 130 people and get 105 units of blood. Okay, and is there anything you want to tell us? Nope. Where do you sign up for this blood drive? Sign up in the cafeteria during all lunches by the door near the ROTC room. Okay, and that's about it. So come out and get your um, blood drawn for the blood drive. We want to beat Conway. Thanks, and back to the studio. Thanks, Taz. Let's take a look at what's in the inbox for today. Silver Streams is accepting submissions. Applications can be found in the front of each hall or seen in English or art teacher. Deadline for submissions is Friday, October 29th. Ultimate Frisbee will meet today. There will be a practice SAT for seniors Friday, September 24th in G House, beginning first block. Seniors may sign up in Ms. Warren's room A107 or Ms. Huck's room G112. All students interested in earning hours for community service may check the National Honor Society Bulletin Board at the front of A House. Step team will begin practicing on Tuesdays and Thursdays this week. The $100 deposit for the Senior Disney trip is due by Thursday, September 30th. Please see Miss Stevens in A103. Senior ad for pictures for the yearbook, money, and order forms are due by the end of the school day on Thursday, September 30th. Order should be turned in to Mrs. Whitney in the yearbook room in Tech 1. National English Honor Society will meet Monday, September 27th at 3.30 in room C-108. And now with your Forest Fire Sports Report with Danny Daly after this short message. Hey guys, I'm Danny. Let's take a look at the Forest Fire Sports Report. Your cross country team beat Conway and North Myrtle Beach. Your girls tennis team lost to Sumter 6-0. Your girls tennis team has an away match tomorrow against Conway at 5 o'clock. Your girls golf team has a match tomorrow away at St. James at 4.30. Your ninth grade volleyball team has a away match t game tomorrow at Conway at 7 o'clock. Your JV volleyball team has an away mat game tomorrow at Conway at 6 o'clock. Your varsity volleyball team has an away game tomorrow at Conway at 6 o'clock. Your JV football team has a home game tomorrow against North Myrtle Beach at 7 o'clock. Let's go to Megan Farley, who has filed a report on the only female varsity football player, Chelsea Thomas. Chelsea looks and acts like any other girl. She goes to class, hangs out with her friends, and spends time with her boyfriend. But after school is what sets her aside from every other girl. Chelsea Thomas is the first girl to play on the high school football team. This being her first year playing football, Chelsea tells us what gets her pumped up before a game. Probably all the other players bouncing around there. Obviously more excited than me. They've been doing it longer, but just watching them and going through the pregame stuff gets me excited. 
Chelsea talks about what it's like being the only girl. They treat me the same, I think. I mean, they don't like discriminate against me. They'll tease me. But it's kind of like having a bunch of older brothers. They'll tease you, but they'll look after you too. If you ask Chelsea what her motivation was to play, she'll tell you. I was in weightlifting with Coach Dave, and I teased him that I was going to come play football. And so he told me just come to conditioning. And I guess he figured that it would just be like a weak thing, and then I give up. But I went to conditioning, and I loved it, and I just stayed. Football is known as being a difficult sport. Chelsea gives us an idea what's the most challenging thing she has encountered. Probably when we run, because I'm slower than everybody else, and I hate always being last and causing everybody else to like run more, but I mean, I try. <laughs> Out of all the things she does in football, Chelsea tells us her favorites. Just being on a real team. I mean, I cheered before but it, it's different. The love of the game also runs in Chelsea's family. I don't really have one, but my family's favorite football team is the Steelers, so I guess I'd have to root for them, especially because I chose 43, like Paul Amalu, because his hair hangs out the back. So. Coach Hummel tells us how it's different having a girl on the team. Chelsea's been a pleasure. Uh, you know, at first we all were kind of uh, wondering how it was going to turn out and, and what was going to happen if we were going to have to make some differences in some things. But uh, Chelsea has done everything that we've asked. She's gone beyond anything that we could imagine her to do. She hasn't missed anything, been on time for everything we've asked her to do. So it's, it's been a wonderful experience for her. I was really surprised when she was going out for the team because I didn't know she was, cause she was a cheerleader last year. I didn't know she was going to go transition to a cheerleader to a football player that good. I wasn't really surprised that Chelsea made the football team because uh, the truth is, when we were little kids, Chelsea used to like, beat me up and put me in trash cans. If you ask how Chelsea's doing, he'll tell you. I think she's doing great. I think she's getting better every day. I think that you know, her skills are improving. And uh, you know, out of the first four games, she's gotten into two games. And uh, you know, hopefully we can continue to get her into games and, and let her experience a dream. Some people would say Chelsea Thomas is making history. But if you ask her, she would just say she's making a team. Reporting for the Forest Fire, I'm Megan Farley. Thanks, Megan. Let's take a look at today's forecast with Sarah. Thanks, Danny. I'm Sarah with your Forest Forecast. Let's take a look at the Doppler radar. It's looking pretty clear around the Myrtle Beach area today. Today is sunny with a high of 90 and a low of 72. Tomorrow is sunny as well with a high of 90 and a low of 63. Let's take a look at your extended forecast. It's looking pretty nice up to Saturday, but Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday is looking pretty rainy. Let's take a look at the lunch menu with Jasmine and Ashley. Thank you, Sarah. Let's see what's for lunch today. For lunch today, you'll be having spaghetti with meat sauce, tomato and cucumber salad, corn, apple crisp, and garlic bread, or a Chick-fil-A sandwich with baked potato. Thank you for watching The Forest Fire. Have a wild, wonderful Wednesday. Everyone's talking to me, what? Sorry, I could go. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, it's on the ground now. Oh. It's looking pretty good Monday and Thursday. I mean, dang it, Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Monday and I meant Wednesday and Thursday, but Friday is looking pretty all right. Wait.